Today we're taking a look at the 2020 Subaru Outback Limited with EyeSight. It's powered by a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine producing 182 horsepower. Plenty of get up and go in a vehicle of this size. Of course, you have Subaru's legendary full-time symmetrical all wheel drive and a minimum ground clearance of 8.7 inches. At the back here, we do have a proximity tailgate. So as long as the key is on your person, you block the logo, it beeps and it opens. Or you can open it from the key fob, the door or the driver's seat itself. Lots of room in the back of the Outback, very tall, wide and deep. We have a nice privacy cover, hides everything from the top of the seats down. It is two stage, so you can hide larger items underneath it. it does come with a cargo tray. We have a 12 volt power outlet for any charging needs. Nice hard physical tie downs, one in each corner. And in addition to the cargo tray, we have the seat back protector. So if you fold the seats flat, you've got a continuous layer of protection to protect the back of those seats. Now, Limited is one of the higher end trims. You do have a Harman Kardon audio system, one of the full load audio systems. You can close it, you can lock it, or you can close it manually in the Outback. We do have the little black circles in the rear bumper. Those are the backup sensors and they will actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Now in the second row, easy to flip these seats back up. Simple, does not take a lot of effort at all. Limited does have the leather trimmed upholstery. There's good headroom, excellent leg room. The outer two seats are heated with high and low settings. You've got two USB ports for charging and vents out of the center console to keep that second row hot or cold. Now, the Outback does come with these roof rails with built-in crossbars. They just flip up, flip across. The other one comes across and they lock in the corresponding holes. Really, really functional. You have roof rails when you need them. You can hide them when you don't need them. With it being a proximity key, the ability to lock it, you just touch those lines and it's locked. Wait a second, put your hand back in the handle and it's unlocked. Up front, power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. We have two position memory settings for your driver's seat. Of course, power driver's seat with the memory settings. We do have manual thigh adjuster. It's great for someone with long legs if they find that their circulation to their legs gets cut off on longer trips. By the driver's left knee, we have the ability to open the rear hatch, the brightness scroll wheel for the gauges, and you can turn off that proximity sensor for the rear tailgate if you're loading something on the roof and you keep setting it off and it keeps trying to open. Push button start. There's currently 44,897 kilometers on the Outback. On the steering wheel, left-hand side, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls, make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right hand side has our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. All of the safety stuff is controlled through these two color stereo eyesight cameras. Super's done something really smart, mounted it behind the windshield because the windshield's cheaper to replace than sensors or cameras. Down below, we have our all important heated steering wheel. It does not heat between the seams, just kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands safety first. Subaru's easy to use infotainment. It's 11.6 inches of touchscreen, broken into three sections. The top portion we have access to X mode, navigation destination, water temp, oil temp, bunch of different things. We've got our main screen with our navigation. There's no subscription for the TomTom Tom navigation. It's free for life, just comes with the vehicle. So also our backup camera, as soon as you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up, rear assist braking, parking sensors, and you can clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle which is great, especially in our springs here. Bottom portion is climate control. We do have physical buttons for adjusting the temperature if you need, or you can click, brings it up. It's also where you activate your heated seats. If you need to do it on the passenger side, it's the same thing. And if your passenger gets out and you need to sync it, there you go. This screen will disappear on its own without any input from you. Fan strength. Adjustment for airflow. Below that, we have our parking brake, media storage with two USBs and an auxiliary. Of course, it's an automatic transmission. We've got very, very deep cup holders there. A tilt and slide sunroof. And you do have an auto dimming mirror, no switch to flick, just automatically dims if someone's behind you with their high beams on. That's a brief look at the 2020 Subaru Outback Limited. Come on down to the corner of First and Victoria, Subaru Prince George. Check this Outback out for yourself.